National Pollinator Week at Phillips, Phillips Park Zoo. That is an event tomorrow, again, that aims to spread awareness of Illinois' pollinator species. Let's learn more about this. Emma Lohenry is a zookeeper and educator at Phillips Park Zoo and joins us now to talk about this. Emma, thanks for being with us. Hi, thanks for having me on. Okay, so I have a kid who's very frightened of bees. <laughs> um, of course, we love butterflies, but tell us about pollinators and why we should love them. Yeah, so pollinators are a really special group of animals. I mean, every animal in any ecosystem is important and needs protection from human beings. Um, but pollinators are unique in that they play a really crucial role in both our lives as humans by helping with the production of food that we eat, as well as providing valuable ecological services to their habitat. So they're really important in the process of um, building native plant populations that provide food and shelter for other animals. Really, a really important role, uh, and that's an understatement. Um, Sally mentioned bees. What are the most common pollinator species in Illinois? We're we pretty much talking about bees here, Emma. Um, so there are a lot of uh, native bees in Illinois that are pollinators, but there's also uh, butterflies, moths, hummingbirds, um, even some less conventional pollinators that we don't think about quite as much, like longhorn beetles or um, serpent flies. So there's a really broad range of species that can play a part in this in this ecological role, and um, they they all need our protection. They're a pretty vulnerable group of animals. And there's a lot that we can do at home to help them. Let's talk about some of those things that we can do in our own homes. Any simple things? Yeah, so um, some of the easiest things we can do are to just plant some flowers, whether that's just a pot of flowers on your front porch or in a um, window box. If you have a garden in your backyard, um, staying clear of invasive plants and incorporating more native plants in your landscape is a really great thing we can do. Um, for those of us who don't enjoy growing plants, you can also do things like support local organizations that are involved in pollinator conservation or just try to shop locally when you can. Um, pollinators are very susceptible to climate change. So anything we can do to reduce pollution is really advantageous to these animals. Great message. All right, Emma Henry, zookeeper, educator at Phillips Park Zoo, previewing uh, the inaugural Aurora Pollinator Fest, which is happening tomorrow from 1 to 6 at the zoo. Emma, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Too. Thank you as well.